in other industries, in financial services, for example, you will be confident within some interval that your analysis is going to come out somewhat correct, quote unquote. If these models have been proven to be persistently wrong, why has there never been a post-mortem done? Why haven't people lost their jobs over this? Why are they the ones who are continuing to be the main spokespeople for the climate change crowd? Well, it's an interesting comparison. You're right. If, if in the private sector somebody keeps making wrong forecasts, and there are consequences for it, it may be that there's no alternative. You, you, ideally, you replace a bad model with a better model, and one that does a better job of forecasting. In the case of weather forecasting over the decades, the models have gotten better. The, um, the basis of the models is more secure, so um, people have pretty reliable weather forecasts out a few days anyway. Um, but in the case of the climate models, it was an unusual situation because people put a lot of trust in the output of these models almost as soon as they appeared and even began talking about climate policy commitments based on what was in the models before they'd really been tested against the data. Um, the fact that the models can reproduce the historical climate over the 20th century doesn't really amount to much because modelers can peek at the conclusion. They know what the output has to look like and they make sure they line up. But in the predictive tests, that's where we see the discrepancy has opened up. Unfortunately, there's already been a lot of policy commitments made based on forecasts from models and now we're learning that the models forecast too much warming.